Hey everybody, welcome back to Reply All. I'm Doug Williams. Uh, we got such a good response from yesterday's episode, which basically stemmed from an article I wrote on the website and, and turned into uh, a comment and a response on, on video. Um, we've decided to change things up a little bit, actually, and put videos on YouTube and allow you guys to comment on those videos. Um, there'll be any, th any thoughts that creep into my head about sports, whatever it happens to be. Then you guys can uh, go ahead and comment, sh let me know what your opinions are about the subject, and I'll respond to those comments. So same kind of gist, but just purely video this time. I couldn't think of a better uh, first topic to cover than the fact that I still think the Yankees are going to make the playoffs. I'm always telling my friends I still believe, I still believe, and there are a few reasons why. The first one doesn't make any sense, has no statistical value whatsoever, but I, I kind of think it's an interesting script. I mean, think about all the reasons why it would be a, just a great script. Think about it. The only time that the Yankees have had A-Rod, Cano, and Jeter in the lineup, that's only happened twice. And yesterday I thought that might have been it because Cano got hit in the hand, but thank, you know, thank God it turns out to be okay. Um, it's just a bruise in his hand. So we're all very lucky for that. This lineup with everybody healthy is, is really unbelievably deep and talented. And think about it, you know, guys like uh, Kevin Euclid and Travis Hafner are still on the disabled list. Now, you don't know if they're going to come back. You don't know if, if the Yankees are going to need them when they come back. But still, this, you know, we've always been saying, yeah, they keep getting guys back, but they have nobody on the bench. Well, now they've gotten to the point where they're deep enough to have a deep bench, and, and that is so valuable. Vernon Wells only plays, you know, one out of four games or so, and Vernon Wells, I know he's not a power hitter anymore, but he can hit lefties, and that's really that's really important. You saw them go go wild off J.A. Happ yesterday. One of the other reasons that, that I think they, they have a chance is there a lot has been made about their rotation. I, do, I know that their rotation hasn't been a strength of late, but if you think about it, CeCe Sabathia is really starting to throw better. He's thrown 94, 95 miles an hour. He's put together a few decent starts, and the, the funny thing is that CC has, has two trends. He either starts a game well and throws six or seven scoreless innings, and then towards the end of the game starts giving up some runs, and he ends up having a good but not great frame. Or he gets crushed at the beginning of the game, gives up six runs, and then throws like seven or eight innings. I think he's going to put together a good stretch here. I, you know, I think CC is one of the biggest competitors in the game, and I think nothing would make him happier than putting together a good September and giving this team a chance uh, to make the playoffs. I think Ivan Nova has thrown the ball terrifically. I think he has turned into more of a competitor than he's ever been before. He's taken uh, tough innings. He's taken uh, tough breaks, errors, home runs, and he's used them. He's used that at, at good attitude, and uh, he didn't used to have that. And that's something that bringing me to the next guy, Phil Hughes, is still struggling with. I think uh, Phil Hughes has a little bit of that bad body language when he gives up a big hit. You can really see that he's kind of just like, oh, come on. But at the same time, don't count Phil Hughes out. And I'm like every other Yankee fan. I get frustrated by the guy. But, at the, you know, think about how, how easy it would be for him with his stuff to put together a good September as well. And, and also, if the Yankees happen to put somebody like Adam Warren or David Huff in the rotation, Phil Hughes makes a really good reliever. So I think either as a starter or a reliever, he'll end up making a difference. Next starter, Andy Pettit. Wow, he has really turned it on. He looks like a totally different pitcher than he did for most of July. He looks younger. He's throwing the ball harder. His pitches have more movement. He looks like he could really have a great September. And then I know Hiroki Kuroda has struggled for the past few starts, but I really think that, that he, he, he's their ace. He's a bona fide ace. He, he's a terrific pitcher. Uh, he could lead them down the stretch. They're facing the A's, and I know that the A's are, are a good all-around team. They have a lot of different uh, different aspects to them as a ball club. They have power, they have speed, they have good pitching, both in the bullpen and in their starting rotation. I just think that this Yankees team, with everybody healthy, is a more well-rounded team than the Oakland A's. They're more experienced as well. Think about uh, the Yankees. They have very good fielding. They have a very, very good bullpen from seven to nine right now. It is really difficult to score even a run off of the Yankees. If they can keep those guys in the bullpen instead of bringing them out every night, which certain nights this week they've been able to do, keep them rested. I mean, it's really hard to imagine if a Yankees pitcher gives them six innings, three runs. It's really hard to imagine the Yankees losing, especially with all those bats left in the lineup. So stay tuned. And I'm not just selling that because, you know, we, uh, we broadcast the Yankees games. I really believe that the Yankees have a chance to make the playoffs, at least to get in the one-game wild card. And, and, and once, once they're in that game, it's a total toss-up. You have no idea what's happening. So 
Here's what you do, you watch this. If you agree with me, if you disagree, add another point to the conversation. I'll feature you in my reply later today. Uh, I'd love to do that, so please comment. I, I'd love to hear the opinions and, and hear what the fans have to say. Uh, once again, this is Reply All. Thanks for watching. Thank you.